Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm Shane, and I'm your host, and today I wanted to show you guys a ROM called OMFGB for the Droid X. Um, if you're not familiar, OMFGB and OMGB are both AOSP ROMs, so they're built from source, and uh, the OMGB ROM is like if you went and bought a Nexus S phone, it is just pure gingerbread, um, nothing extra added to it at all. OMFGB is the same thing but with a few more uh, customization tweaks and options and today I just wanted to show you guys OMFGB uh, it has been released for the Droid X it's also a second in it ROM um, you know built off of CM7 and OMGB will be out shortly um, but let's go ahead and get started I'm going to show you guys how to install the ROM so if you already know how to install a ROM, then you really won't even need to pay attention to this. Uh, if you're on gingerbread, stock gingerbread, um, or a Motorola blur type gingerbread uh, .596, then you'll have to SBF back to Froyo. Uh, if you're already on a second init ROM, chances are you have a built-in recovery that you can get back to clockwork. Uh, if you are flashing from Froyo, uh, you'll need to root your phone and flash through DX Bootstrapper. If you're already on a second init ROM, do not use DX Bootstrapper. It'll uh, break second in it and it'll send you into a boot loop and you'll have to SBF. So if you're on a second init ROM such as CM7, Liquid, SSX, um, anything other than MIUI because MIUI did not include a custom recovery. Uh, with MIUI you'll have to access Clockwork Recovery from ROM Manager. Uh, but if you're on any of the other second edit ROMs, CM7, Liquid, SSX, uh, then you'll ac access it by clicking the power button. You'll go to Reboot, and then Recovery, and hit OK. Now coming from any of the second edit ROMs, all you have to do is wipe data, wipe cache, and wipe Dalvik, and then install the ROM. Uh, you can get the ROM by going to the link in the description. I'll have the download link there. Uh, if you're coming from Froyo, all you have to do is, is the same thing. You'll root your phone, uh, boot into Clockwork Recovery with D2 Bootstrapper. Uh, you'll wipe cache, you will wipe data, and you'll wipe Dalvik, and you'll flash the ROM. If you're coming from Gingerbread, of course, you'll have to SBF and do all the following. So the first thing you want to do is select wipe data and go down to yes delete all user data uh, I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed then you'll go to wipe cache and you'll go through that the way I'm navigating here is volume up and down selecting with camera and back to go back you will select yes wipe cache and then you go down here to advanced and select wipe Dalvik okay and then you'll go down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card if you download it directly to your phone it's going to be in the download folder and that's how I always do it uh, it's best if you're on a 3G connection because the file is about 130 megabytes so you'll find it it'll be OMFGB shadow 1.3.1 nightly 0731.zip you'll select that and then you'll go to yes install and it takes it about five minutes it doesn't take as long as most of them and once it says install complete you'll go back and hit reboot system now and you'll notice with these OMGB ROMs that they boot up pretty quick so I'll go ahead and take you through the boot system I mean the boot sequence And what you have here with this ROM is really a basic ROM. There's not a ton of extras to it. This is kind of the whole reason that we as Droid X users want to be able to root our phone and put ROMs on there is because we want an AOSP experience. We don't want the Motorola blur which bogs down the phone. We want it to be clean. And that's what this ROM is. This is the cleanest uh, type of ROM that you can get. When OMGB comes out uh, it will be pure AOSP and it is very quick, very snappy. Um, OMFGB just has just a few little tweaks and customizations in there. I've been running this ROM all day long 
and my battery has been pretty good you saw I was at about 35 percent and like I said I've been using it from 830 uh, to 930 this evening so about 13 hours and about 35 percent and I've I've used it pretty heavily and here we are this is a rotary lock screen I put that on there that's one of the customizations in OMFGB uh, and then of course this wallpaper I added that's not what it came with uh, I'm on ADW here, but it comes with the AOSP launcher, just standard launcher, nothing fancy, but you can get ADW launcher from the market and do all that extra fancy stuff. Um, what this comes with is Theme Chooser. It'll load up here in just a second. Theme Chooser and God Mode. Of course, it also comes with dev tools and spare parts. Uh, spare parts is good for battery stats battery history, you can also change the speed of the transitions, uh, window transitions, like when you go from the app drawer back to the home page. Uh, you can change that speed so it'll look a whole lot faster and uh, trick your friends into thinking that your phone is like incredibly fast, you know, with a quad-core processor or whatever. Um, then of course it also comes with a regular app drawer. I've got an ADW app drawer here, but You'll see that it comes with a theme chooser, and you can choose your themes and apply those on the fly, which is pretty cool. That's, you know, something that comes pretty standard with these CM7-based ROMs. And there's nothing really fancy here in settings. The only thing that I found different in settings is you've got about OMFGB, and it just shows you that you are on uh, version 2.3.5, which is the latest version of Gingerbread and it gives you a change log there that you can click on for OMFGB and if you go into God Mode that's where all your tweaks and customizations are going to be uh, so what they have here is the add-ons and there's not just a whole lot there you got your Google Apps that you can download uh, Netflix your wallpapers which is how I got that wallpaper there uh, and then also you can do your theme, which you download and install, and that works in Theme Changer. Uh, your wallpapers, I'll just go back real quick and show you what they include here. Uh, you can have either no wallpaper or the custom wallpapers. And there's several to choose from here. And they're all pretty nice. And if we go back into God Mode... Um, you have nightlies, which you can get directly from your ROM. You don't even have to go into ROM Manager to get your nightlies. Uh, you can get them directly from God Mode. <clears throat> and then your launcher settings here. Um, you can just change up your launcher. And lock screen settings. You can change the carrier caption. And... Let's see, you can select the type. I'm on rotary. And you can change the timeout there. Uh, like I said, guys, there's not just a ton of customization in here. It's really just stock AOSP. And it makes for a very quick phone that doesn't have a lot of hang ups. Um, okay, you've got your accelerometer rotation there. Um, battery text, which is what I have up here, it says 34%. You have to come in here and check that. You can also change your battery type and the battery text options. And you can turn on and off your screen animations. And then there's clock options with clock color that you can change. Uh, and then your status bar here. You can change your volume, music controls. Um, so like I said, guys, not a ton here to change. But if you want a really quick ROM uh, that is very simplistic and has nothing really extra to slow it down or bog it down, ONFGB is the ROM for you. And even if you're not going to keep this ROM as your daily driver, I would suggest that you try it out. Uh, I like it a whole lot. And I'm going to stick around uh, with this ROM until either Tranquility comes out. Uh, also they're talking about an HTC uh, port for HTC Sense for the Droid X. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'd like to see it on the phone. It's interesting to me. I probably won't keep it on there for daily use, but I would like to see it. 
Um, and then also, of course, OMGB is on its way, and that is nothing but pure, uh, pure gingerbread for the Droid X. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. I advise you to try out OMFGB. Just head on to the link in the description, and there you'll find your download file. And visit DroidModerX.com for all the latest in Droid X mods, hacks, and customizations uh, for your phone. Uh, we've been doing a lot to the website lately, so check it out. And we're working on getting the Bionic to cover, uh, so just check out all the advertisers on the site. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.